Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you, Beatriz? Fine, and you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Okay, tell me, Beatriz, have you been working on the exercises that we have in the platform? Uh, el, el examen me el... Ah, okay, perfecto. ¿Y preguntas? Okay, excellent. Perfect. So we are going to begin. And if you remember yesterday, we were talking about present continuous tense, right? Beatriz. Okay, um, I was telling you that yesterday we were studying the present continuous tense, so I will make a review of that. Voy a hacer un repaso de lo que es el presente continuo, porque estaba viendo que aún tienen dudas, más que todo por los ejercicios que están en la plataforma. So I need you to tell me if the topic was clear for you or if you have questions. Quiero que me diga si el tema le quedó claro o si tiene preguntas acerca de ello. ¿De la plataforma? No, del presente continuo, lo que estuvimos viendo el día de ayer. Ah, oh, es que yo no me conecté, no pude conectarme. No estaba ah, okay. en casa. Ok, so thank you. Don't worry about it. Hi Francisco, how are you? Teacher, fine. And you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Okay, um, I was telling Beatrice that we are going to make a review of the present continuous tense, something that we studied yesterday, because I can see that some of you are still having problems with that. Veo que algunos todavía están teniendo problemas con lo que es el presente continuo, más que todo a la hora de de estar formulando lo que son preguntas. Ok, y quizás aplicar las reglas también. Ajá, sí, porque he estado viendo que las preguntas o los ejercicios ahí de la plataforma, ¿verdad? O sea, entiendo que a veces se desesperan porque no les da la respuesta, ¿verdad? Que ustedes están digitando. But we need to be careful, tenemos que tener cuidado, porque sí, a veces sale lo que es el signo de interrogación, lo cual me da a entender a mí que es una pregunta yes. y lo estamos haciendo como si fuera una oración afirmativa. Igualmente, estoy hablando de él y me están poniendo el are you. Y he visto a varios que están haciendo o que estamos cometiendo el mismo error. So that's why we are going to be working on that. Ok. Por okay. cierto, les mandé el documento, ¿verdad? del ejercicio que estuvimos viendo ayer porque sí. lo vamos a estar repasando ahora ok ok so we are going to begin let's see what do you remember about the rules que recuerdan de las reglas What to, did we say? Form, Go ahead, sorry. To form the present continuous tense, some of main verbs that end in a consonant plus e, drop the mm -hmm. e, drop the e, and add ing. Okay, excellent. So that was a rule that we studied yesterday. What else? 
So you just mentioned one. Acaban de mencionar una. Que para los verbos que terminan en una consonante más E, vamos a eliminar la E y vamos a agregar ING. Yeah. Ok. So, how about the other rules? Excellent. Thank you. Si el verbo termina en una vocal más una consonante, cabe aclarar que si es un verbo de una sílaba, vamos a duplicar lo que es la última consonante y vamos a agregar ing. Ok. Excellent. What else did we study? Veamos otra regla. If the verb ends in I, E, uh -huh. we change it to Y, I, N, G. Excellent. Okay, that was something that we also studied. That if the verb ends in I, E, we delete I, E, and we change it to, uh, to Y, and then we add I, N, G. And what are the exceptions? ¿Cuáles eran las excepciones? Um, okay, excellent. If the verb ends in W, X, or Y, we are just going to add ing. Perfect. También dijimos que si el verbo termina en W, X o Y, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregarle ing. Ok. Sorry. And that was it, basically. Eso era todo prácticamente. Ahora bien, si me voy a la el documento que les compartí. So let me just share it with you again. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so you can see it here. Lo tenemos acá. Hicimos, bueno, estuvimos viendo algunos de estos ejemplos. So for example, we had bite, camp, club, etc. And I remember that the last one, me acuerdo que el último al que llegamos fue Dream, right? Este fue el último que vimos. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, how about the following verb? Eat. ¿Qué es lo que voy a hacer? ¿Duplico la T o solo le agrego ING? Only add ING. Why? Because... Double... Ajá. Uh -huh. Vocal... And consonant. Okay, excellent, Gerardo. Yes, you can see that here I have two vowels and a consonant. Okay, so the rule doesn't apply. So the only thing that I'm going to do is to add ing. So how about the next one? Fix. Okay. Just add ing. Because or why? Because uh, the verb finish in X. Okay, excellent. Yes. And how about fly? Flying. What do we do? Because bird and why? Okay, el verbo termina en Y. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que hacemos? Only add ing. 
we only add ing. Excellent. How about the next one? Get. Getting. Uh huh. And what do we do? Sorry. T. Add T. N. ING. Okay, excellent. Both of you, perfect. Vaya, en este caso sí, vengo yo, duplico lo que es la T y agrego ING. ¿Por qué? Because you can see I have one vowel and I have one consonant. Tengo lo que es una vocal, una consonante. Entonces, esta cumple la, las condiciones de la regla que vimos anteriormente, ¿verdad? Duplico la última consonante y agrego ING. So, we are going to continue. We are going to work on the next column. Vamos a hacer la siguiente columna. But, we are going to do it like this. Okay. I need you to type your answers to the chat that we have here in Zoom. Necesito que me envíen sus respuestas aquí en el chat, en el chat de Zoom. Así que comenzamos porque necesito ver que de verdad estamos aplicando reglas. Ok. So we have the first one hit. Veamos. Ok. Excellent. Ok, perfect. So, let's see the next one. Hurt. Aha, okay. Okay, perfect. Vaya, con hurt. Duplico o no duplico la T? No. Okay, no, I don't do it, right? ¿Por qué no lo hago? Because have the consonant before or after before of T. Okay, before, okay, sorry, because I have two consonants. Tengo dos consonantes, una vocal y dos consonantes. Oh. So it doesn't apply. Excellent, let's see the next one, join. Duplico la N o solo con una N? Okay, thank you, solo, Jonathan. Just one N. Okay, we just add ING. If you can see, I have two vowels and one consonant. Tengo dos vocales y una consonante, entonces no aplica. Solamente agrego ING. Okay, so keep. Thank you, Selena. Keeping. Okay, ex excellent. Okay. Perfect. So, look. Okay, thank you, Beatriz. Thank you, Gerardo. Thank you, Brian. Okay. Perfect. Then we have pay. Excellent. No, it's pay, no play. Pay de pagar. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Then we have plan. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Selena. Okay, perfect. Vaya, en este caso o con este verbo sí duplico lo que es la N, ¿verdad? Porque tengo una vocal, una consonante. Put. Ok, thank you. Veo que ya tienen las respuestas. Excelente. Easy, right? So let's see the next one. Rain. Ajá, ¿son dos N o solamente una? Okay. Just one. It's only one. Yes. You can see I have two vowels and one consonant. So 
I only add ing. So let's go to the next one, drive. Okay, perfect. Okay, excellent. Okay, right. Okay, thank you. Let's see, run. Okay, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Gerardo. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Sí, en este duplicamos la N, ¿verdad? Porque tengo lo que es una vocal, una consonante. Excelente. So, let's see the next one. Say. Okay, perfect. Okay, in this case, I only add ING. And let's see the last one. Shine. Okay, perfect. Yes, thank you, Tamara, for making the correction. Okay, so you can see that here in Shine, the only thing that we are going to do is to delete the E and add ING. Acá, como ustedes ven, aplica la segunda regla que vimos, que si el verbo termina en una consonante más E, elimino la E y agrego ING. Excellent. No sé si hasta acá está claro, si tienen preguntas o dudas. No? Ok. ¿It is clear now? Yes. Perfect. Vaya, me voy acá entonces. Recuerdo que hicimos algunas de estas oraciones. Ok. So be careful. Um, me acuerdo que llegamos hasta las seis. So, let's see. From seven to fifteen. Bye. El error que la mayoría ha estado cometiendo es el siguiente. He visto que está el signo de interrogación ahí en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Como, bueno, en los ejercicios. Pero la mayoría los está ignorando. Lo cual hace que ustedes me formen oraciones afirmativas y a la hora de dar, enviar los resultados, les sale que está mal. Ok. So we need to be careful. Debemos tener cuidado y ver. Si tengo un signo de interrogación, quiere decir que yo tengo que hacer una pregunta. En el caso acá, que tengo lo que es el not, me da a entender a mí que es una oración negativa. Pero si yo no tengo ningún signo de interrogación o tampoco tengo lo que es un not, me da a entender a mí que la oración es afirmativa. Ok, so let's see, number seven. ¿Cómo quedaría la número siete? Ok, let's see. Are we drive to London? No. no. Are we okay. driving to London? Okay, yes. Remember that we are using present continuous. So we need the verb in ing. Excellent. Okay, are we driving to London? Let's see. Okay. Perfect. Number eight. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la ocho entonces? They are watching TV. No. Are they watching TV? Aha, excellent. Yes, look at it. We have a question mark. Ok, tenemos un signo de interrogación, lo cual nos da a entender que es una pregunta. Entonces, ¿qué queda? Are they watching TV? Are they watching TV? Ok, let's see the next one, number nine. Where is she going now? Okay, where is she going now? Okay, let's see, number 10. I'm not leaving now. I'm not leaving now. Okay, yes. um, 11. You're not 
you are you are running. Okay, you are not running. Okay, and number 12. Why is he leaving? Okay, why is he leaving? Number 13. How am I? Travel? Travel? Traveling. Excellent. <laughs> How yes. am I traveling? Excellent. Let's see, number 14. It is raining. It is raining or, look at it. It is it, 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 rain. Okay, it is an raining. And the last one. When are we arriving? Okay, when are we arriving? Excellent. Vaya. No sé si hasta acá hay preguntas o alguna duda. No? No. No, teacher. Okay. Yeah, just making sure. Are we driving to London? Así dijeron que era la primera. Okay, the next one you said. Okay, then we have. Y aquí es donde he visto yo que han tenido problemas, ¿verdad? Eh, tengo el nombre, por ejemplo, en la, en la plataforma sale David. Y me están poniendo, are you waiting? Cuando yo estoy hablando de él. Ok. Y ahí es donde la mayoría ha tenido ese problema. So, we need to be careful. De, tenemos, bueno... Es de tener cuidado, ¿verdad? Y ver si estoy hablando de él, ella, eso, o si estoy hablando de la primera persona, es decir, yo, tú, nosotros, etc. ¿Ok? Remember that here you can make it like this. You aren't running. Um, here we have a question that says, why? Is he leaving? ¿Cómo me dijeron que quedaba la 13? How am ah. I traveling? Ah. Ok. Then we have it. It's in raining. Aquí no duplico N. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, tengo dos vocales y luego una consonante, no duplico. Y la última, que es una pregunta, when are we arriving? ¿Ok? Vaya. Si vamos a contestar la primera pregunta, are we driving to London? Respuesta afirmativa. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. In negative? No. No, we aren't. We are Excellent. Are they watching TV? Yes, they are. Yes, they, they are. are. In negative? They aren't. No, they aren't. No, they Excellent. Aren't. Where is she going now? Sorry? No, listen to the question. Where is she going now? ¿A dónde está yendo ella? She's going to church. Okay. She's going to church. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Y aquí es. Yeah, no, sorry. This is not a question. Um, okay. Then we have, why is he leaving? He, yeah. Yeah. Why because is he leaving? 
because he is uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh huh. Uh, maybe uh, because he is working. I don't okay. know. Okay. Because he is working. Okay. Or, or traveling. It could be. Excellent. Because he <laughs> is traveling. Yes. Okay. And then we have, how am I traveling? I am traveling. Ah, how? I don't know. I, under, yeah. I don't understand the question. I am traveling on a bus. Okay. I'm traveling by bus. By bus. What else? You can also say I'm traveling by car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm traveling a motorcycle. Okay. Excellent. And the last one, because this is a question. When are we arriving? Uh, we are arriving at at park at the park no, no the question is when ah yeah yeah uh, we are arriving on saturday okay excellent Thanks. yes we need time okay excellent vaya hasta acá está esto claro o tienen alguna pregunta It's okay. Okay. So we are going to see the last part of this exercise that I have that says that you are going to write questions and answers using what plus doing and the words that we have in parentheses. For example, we have number one that says, What are you and Ricky doing? We're eating pizza. So, then I have Michael. ¿Cómo me harían la pregunta? ¿O cómo quedaría la pregunta? What is Michael doing? What is Michael, Michael doing? Doing. Okay, and your answer? He is cooking dinner. Okay, excellent. He is cooking dinner. Let's see the next one, Gerardo, number three. Mm. What are Kate and Joe doing? And the answer? They are taking a walk. Okay, excellent. Esmeralda, the next one, number four. Esmeralda. Perdón. No. Sería, what, uh, what is your doing? Julie doing? Doing, uh huh. The answer is uh, she's she's reading. Okay, excellent. She is reading. Brian, the next one, please. Danielle is cooking dinner. Okay, we are here on number five. Brian, number five. 
remember that we are making questions. Estamos haciendo preguntas. Vamos por la número 5. Ok. Is Mary working in a factory? No. Ok. The instruction says that we are going to use what, plus doing, and the words that we have in parentheses. Uh, so, what is Mary doing right now? Okay, and the answer? Um, she is shopping. Excellent. Tamara, number six. Tamara? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, number uh, six. You see. Uh, Recuerda que estamos mencionando. We are making questions. Using that, do. We are using the present continuous tense. Estamos usando el presente continuo. Y como dice la indicación acá, ¿verdad? Vamos a escribir preguntas y respuestas usando el what, doing y las palabras que están en paréntesis. ¿Ok? So, ¿cómo nos quedaría la número 6? Uh, what Nicole and Jennifer la... Uh, like to go shopping? No. We are using what plus doing and the words we have in parentheses. What, Nico? What? And Jennifer. Uh-huh. I like go to shopping. Así está bien. ¿Le gusta ir a comprar algo así? ¿O ir de compra? Ok. Um, sorry. Uh -huh. Vaya, la indicación dice que vamos a escribir preguntas y respuestas usando lo que es el what y el doing. Y las palabras que están en paréntesis. En este caso ya estamos en la número 6. La cual me quedaría. What are Nicole and Jennifer doing? Respuesta me quedaría. Well, uh, they are watching TV. Ok. They are watching TV. Thank you. Watching TV. Uh, the next one. Jonathan. What is Steven doing? Okay. She, yeah, sorry. He is. Okay. Come on. Uh, he is studying math. Okay. And the last one, Jose Mauricio. Hola, teacher. Ahorita acabo de conectar. Ah, okay. So sí. don't worry about it. Estábamos haciendo un repaso de lo que vimos el día de ayer, lo que es el presente continuo, más que todo en lo que son preguntas abiertas acá. Pero Gerardo le va a ayudar, así que no se preocupe. Ok, sí, había entrado al inicio de la clase, pero ahorita me acaba de, de sacar el sistema porque está, está mal de señal. Ah, Entonces, ok. Ahorita me voy a conectar, ¿verdad? Nuevamente. Ok, so don't worry about it. So Gerardo... What are you doing? Uh -huh. And your answer? I am studying English. Excellent. I am studying English. Perfect. 
So tell me, is this clear for you or do you have questions? ¿Está claro esto o tienen preguntas? It's clear, teacher. It is clear? Yes. In this moment, yes. Okay, excellent. Vaya, porque les estaba compartiendo eso. Les decía, he visto bastantes errores que se están cometiendo ahí en la plataforma. Por ejemplo, ahorita estaba recordando que tengo lo que es este verbo, study. Pero, por X o Y razón, ustedes me lo están escribiendo así, study. Ok, recuerden que dijimos, si los verbos terminan en W, X y Y, lo único que hacemos es agregar uh, ING. I Yes, we only add ing. No quitamos nada, no duplicamos. Lo único que hacemos es agregar el ing. Ok, so be careful on that. Let's see. Another question. Otra pregunta. No. Ok, excelente. Vaya, sí, eso era así más que todo como una retroalimentación de lo que vimos el día de ayer. Y porque como les decía, ¿verdad? Estaba viendo que ahí es donde han tenido más dificultades a la hora de hacer las preguntas con ese ejercicio, ¿verdad? So, let's continue. Continuamos entonces si no hay más preguntas. Ok. Hold on. Ok, so we are going to go to the platform. If you can see, basically, we are almost finishing. Ya casi vamos terminando, ¿verdad? So, we are going to practice a conversation right now. And this one is titled, I come from a big family. Then we are going to be practicing and we are going to be doing it with your own information. Vamos a practicar primero así tal cual está, pero después la vamos a ir practicando con la información propia de ustedes. ¿verdad? So, let's begin. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Not really. Okay. So you can see here that we have this short conversation. And basically we are asking about how many brothers and sisters a person has. So we are going to have, let me see how many people I have today. Okay, we're going to have Gerardo and Selena. Can you read the conversation please? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mainly. Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, my family in China have only one child, no day. I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? 
Not really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots, lots of birthday presents. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So we will continue with Esmeralda and Jonathan. Okay. Just read. Yes, just read. Okay. Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have an only own child, no way, please. I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? Uh, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, it's a typical in Peru. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of, bir of birthday presents. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So now we're going to have Beatriz and Francisco. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am only a child. Really? Yeah, my family in China have only one child. No, what? No way, they. I didn't know that. What about? What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, excellent. And then we're going to have, let me see. Let me see who am I missing? Uh, Jose Mauricio and Brian. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have maybe? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot, a lot of family are small this day good bit a family are great because you get a lot of birthday presents okay thank you and i think that i'm missing tamara and let me see tamara que me, que más me hace falta? gerardo yes right so i'm missing tamara and gerardo so let's listen to you Ya había practicado, teacher. Ya había, ok, sorry. Ya la, la memoria me falla, pero Tamara sí creo que no. No, you know, you, you, you quiero. Ok, so don't worry about it. So we're going to have Tamara and Francisco again, please. Ok. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Nayli? Actually, I'm an only two. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one child uh, nowadays. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What about you, Mark? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Okay. Well, uh, is that typical in Peru? Not really. 
a lot of families are smaller these days, but family, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So I'll give you feedback right now, and this is about pronunciation. Remember that here we have this word. This one is child, okay? This one is child. I'm an only child. Really? Okay, then we have the country that is China, okay? China. Then we have nowadays, okay? Sorry, nowadays. Then let me see. Mm, no, th those were basically the ones that I could identify. Ah, sorry, I was forgetting this one. Actually, okay? So be careful with pronunciation. So now we will practice the same conversation, but we are going to change the information that we have there with our own personal information, okay? So let's see, I need a volunteer. Do I have a volunteer? Okay, so it's going to be Brian. So Brian, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two brothers, and I don't have a sister. Really? Yes, my family is small. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And uh, what about you? Okay, um, I come from a big family, honestly. I have four brothers and, let me remember, and six sisters. Wow, it's a, a big family. Yes, it is. Aha, y de ahí, ¿qué más? And my family is, uh, is small and your family is, is big, it's a, a great difference. I a know. Big difference. I know. Believe me, that it is. So I'm the third child. I'm the third child. So I have taken care of my brothers, or yeah, of my brothers and sisters, basically. But I really love them. Oh, is 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 great. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. Thank you, Brian. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Una conversación. Uh, si ustedes se fijan, casi no nos salimos mucho de acá. Pero si ustedes se, se llegan a salir, pues mucho que mejor, ¿verdad? Porque así van practicando lo que es fluidez. Y de igual manera, ya van pensando más en lo que es el inglés. So, let me see. Volunteers. Okay, so thank you, Esmeralda. So we're going to have Esmeralda and Francisco. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Esmeralda? I have only two sisters. Oh, really? Brother, no. Yes. Okay. And you, Francisco? I have two brothers and I don't have sisters. Mm, okay. It's different in my family. Yes. Yes. You are the first child in, of your family? Yes, I, I am a first person. My father, my father. Okay, I am the last. Okay, you are the? The, the, la, uh, the last of my brothers. 
Okay, so you are the youngest? Yes. Yes, okay. yes. She, yes. She, she is younger. I, I am an old, old child. You are the oldest uh -huh. child, you okay? Child. And okay. you, Francisco, what about you? I am the, the younger child. Uh, okay. Okay, excellent. Oh, Thank you. Sure. Perfect. So now we're going to have Gerardo and Selena. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Selena? Actually, I, I have two sisters and one brother. It's a small family. My family is both. Uh, what about you, Gerardo? I come from a big family. I have nine siblings. They are four sisters and, pardon, five sisters and four brothers. Wow, your family is big. Yes, it is. Uh, is the typical in your Salvador? It's not typical. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, excellent, thank you. So it's not anymore, but it used to be. If you remember, probably your parents had like uh, 10, 12 siblings, something like that, but nowadays, you know that is not typical anymore, excellent. So now we're going to have Josue Mauricio and Tamara. Okay. How many brother and sister that do you have, Tamara? Actually, I have two sisters and one brother. And you? I have four sister and a third, third brother. Do you have a big family? <laughs> Repeat the question. Did you have a look at a big family? No, my family is is more. Oh. My wife, my daughter, and me. My my father and my mother in USA for a, a twenty year. Oh, I live with my mom and my my sister and my brother. Only sister and only brother. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So now we're going to have Jonathan and Beatriz. Okay, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Beatriz? Uh, I have uh, one brother and one sister. And you? Uh, I have uh, four brothers and um, one sister. Oh. 
Uh, your family is small? Mm, well, really, uh, actually, uh, my family is big because um, I have, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, teacher, yes? I have a question. How do you say, uh, medio hermanos? Step brothers or step ah, okay. yes. Okay, but because I have uh, step brothers too, and 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 no sé cómo decir. Así que en total son más, ¿verdad? <laughs> Okay, so you can say, so we are uh, 10 people or 15 children, for example. I don't know how many children you, you are. No sé cuántos hijos son. But uh, brothers are four, uh, with me, five. Uh -huh. and, and sisters and are three. Three, okay. Yes, yeah. it's a big family, right? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, do you do you come uh, from a big or small family, Beatrice? Uh, my family is the. Uh, okay, it's, it's the same with, with my family, right? Okay. And I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay. And I think that we are missing Francisco, right? No, ya, ya lo hice ya con Esmeralda, sí. Ah, okay, so sorry. ¿Quién me hace falta? Nadie. Okay. Excellent, perfect. So tell me, do you have questions? No questions? No teacher. Okay, and is everything clear for you? Está todo claro hasta acá entonces, ya más claro con el presente continuo para preguntas, oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, excellent. Y con la plataforma, ¿vamos al día o todavía les hace falta algún ejercicio? I finish. I finish. Okay, excellent. Okay, entonces vamos bien con la plataforma. Ya terminaron con el final exam también. No hay nada pendiente. No, a mí me falta todavía. Le falta todavía, pero ya es poco. Sí, yo creo que en la última estoy ya. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, solamente les hacía esta pregunta, ¿verdad? Porque recuerden que tenemos hasta el jueves 10, prácticamente a la medianoche, para terminar lo que es toda la plataforma, ¿verdad? En dado caso, bueno. digamos, llegasen a tener alguna dificultad, pues me lo notifican, como ha sido el caso de una de sus compañeras que me estaba diciendo que como que ya de tantos intentos hasta la bloqueó la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos con eso de darle solución. Y de igual manera ustedes, ¿verdad? Si llegasen a presentar algún problema, pues me notifican, así yo lo reporto. ¿Ok? Bueno, yo ahora que terminé ya todo, yo era la bloqueada también. No sé si había otra persona que también va, pero yo era la bloqueada. No, no era usted, había otra persona. 
Ajá, <risa> sí, no, no se preocupe. ¿Ok? So. Pero no, no me envió nada de que... De, no, no, a que a veces me enviaron el, el, el como di, el diplomita, no sé cómo se le dice. Sí, el diploma de... Uh -huh. Y ahora no sí. le ha dado. Ajá. No, no. no ah. ya terminé y no salimos. Va. Vamos a averiguar qué ha pasado ahí entonces. Veamos, sí. Francisco. Para, para el siguiente módulo es necesario volver a llenar toda la documentación, la sí. ficha. Sí, para todos los módulos ustedes tienen que llenar lo que es esa ficha de inscripción. ¿Por qué? Ah, Porque okay. ahí le dice para qué curso o en este caso para qué nivel está aplicando. ¿verdad? Que sería ah, okay. en el caso de ustedes el pre-intermedio 2. Ah, ok. Sí. Ok. Listo. Eso era, gracias. Tío. Bueno, Tamara, ¿qué más iba a preguntar usted? No, solo eso. Va, ok. No hay problema. Entonces, si no hay más preguntas, nos quedamos hasta acá y nos veríamos hasta el día de mañana. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you for coming. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.